Greetings! I have asked my audience what are the most demotivating things in this game, secretly preparing for this video. I gave you guys some choices, because I'm gracious like that, but also encouraged everyone to comment if they had anything different. We are gonna go through the most common ones, and I will give straightforward advice on what you can do about it. I will assume that if you are watching, you actually want to play and didn't make peace with quitting just yet. One that comes up very often is top players are just too good. So no point in even trying when a permazoomer skibidi toilet kiot comes out of their mom's uterus, already 4 digit effortlessly turbo smurfing DT maps. For real, for real. I understand your frustration as a certified boomer myself, but don't forget that not all zoomers improve at delta max speed, most of them remain casual 7 digits, so it's all survival bias. Maybe reverse survival bias? I don't know, don't quote me on that. Even the ones that improve very fast not many stay for more than a couple of years. That's because the high expectations put on them by themselves and others burn them out really fast. The hype can turn into negativity real quick. So instead of comparing yourself to them, try having rivals around the same rank as you. That way you can incrementally improve. Even the top improvers in this game improved one day at a time. So honestly, how can you expect to improve overnight? The best and worst thing about this game is the community. So engage wisely. Having friends sending maps to each other and trying to beat each other's scores is the pinnacle of this game. Also secretly grinding out some insane gimmick score to surprise your discord server? Hell yeah dude! That's always so hype. I know some of you have trouble making friends, so video coming up on that topic too. The second thing that demotivates OS players is somewhat related to the first one. It's when improvement does not come easy and you are stuck on the same level or even decaying. I understand this frustration too, as it hit home until recently. First of all, your rank and skill are two separate things. Just because you got stuck in 5 digits doesn't mean you are not improving. Trash talking yourself because you are not achieving your goals with in the time you expected yourself to actually makes it even harder to achieve them. Secondly, you might be cycling through the same maps, hoping this will be the try when you defeat your mental blocks on it. Taking a hiatus or switching up what you play, including your goals, should also help with this. Speaking of hiatus, a lot of you are having problems with having enough energy or time to play this game the same way you did in your peaks. This was by far the most common issue too, understandably, as this game is older than some of its top players. Back in the days, you might have been in a place in your life when you had all the time and energy to focus on this game, but now you have a job responsibilities, social obligations, maybe even a girlfriend against all odds. The last thing you want to do after all this is to grind out that stupid screen jump diffs pack at the end of the map, god damn it! Who let this get ranked? As for the solutions, if you have the time, but not the energy, you might need to take some lifestyle changes. Eat better, sleep better, take your vitamins, and slowly, without any expectations, ease yourself back into the game. Your mental and physical stamina is holding you back, so let's get cooking and improve on that. You might also just want to transition into becoming a casual player until you have reasonable expectations of yourself. On the other hand, if you have the energy but no time, then you really gotta ask yourself if O's needs to be in your life at the moment. You can always come back once you have more time, and before you ask, don't worry about rusting. Imagine it as a time skip. And of course watch my Dirust video once you are ready for the comeback. The link is in the description, as always. In the unfortunate situation if you have no time nor energy, then I'm sorry. That must be rough. And I have nothing to help with that. I hope you are doing okay. The video is not over yet, don't go anywhere. We are gonna double time some of the demotivating things you guys sent me. I will subtitle this part because I will talk fast. So let's go. Wash your Cheeto hands occasionally and try not caring about bad grip too much, as it will become mental after a certain point. Play a wide variety of maps, save the good ones in your collection, maybe try out a new mode like Taiko, Catch or Mania. Multimode drifting is a thing, take it from me. Soak your 
hands in warm water for a couple of minutes. It helps. Get into mapping, modding, skinning or stuffing in tournaments. Understand that short term progress is invisible until you hit a threshold, but until then you are still improving. Switch up what you play if you still enjoy playing, or take a break, then switch up what you play if you don't enjoy playing. Become the sandbagger yourself or specialize in one thing and go on team tournaments. Also start organizing your own tournaments where you make your own rules. Get non-toxic friends and only engage with them in the community, or nobody at all. OS also has a block function. Use it. Play easier maps and relax your hand even if it makes you play worse. It will be better on the long term. Get new friends, and if you can't, video coming on it soon. Take a break, and when you come back, stop playing once you are forcing yourself to play. 1-2 to two hours fully focused is better than hinting for 6 hours straight. Envy is a cardinal sin. Also go to therapy. It shouldn't bother you that much.